Welcome back. We are here on looking at the indices and we're going to start by looking at the S&P 500, the Dow Jones and the Nasdaq. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, November 6, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. We have a Patreon channel, which we make all our signals for our trades. And you're welcome to look there to join us there. The link is down below. So we are looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we have rallied quite significantly in the S&P 500. We are up this week nearly 8.4%. And that is a massive, massive move. We are trading within this range. So we are at the 3,600 there above and the very lows at 3,200. And at this moment, we are testing these previous highs of 3,536. Um, main reason for this is the, is the election. It's anticipation uh, for additional stimulus. Uh, but I had to basically... Um, there's a bubble here that uh, there's not going to be any stimulus anytime soon. So the market is reacting on additional stimulus, but there's not going to be any stimulus for at least December, probably to next year, I mean, February next year. So when the market basically uh, wakes up to that reality, it will drop like a rock. So I don't expect us to break these highs, even though this is a fantastic move, but we have done that before. We did it here as well. We did it here. We did it here. But the only thing that we'll see is this. So, so what I expect to happen is that mo most likely is that Biden will win and his priorities will, first of all, be to fix the United States government, especially everything that has to do with the coronavirus before he goes and um does additional stimulus packages and so on because it will be difficult because they will not have have um, control of the senate um so at this point we may touch these very highs i would pay attention to the us dollar index it has decreased uh, devalued significantly today and yesterday and when that turns around which it most likely will do tomorrow or monday this will start to fall and so will most other commodities. But this looks impressive at this moment. We're not overbought yet. We are uh, crossing the signal line in the MACD. The same is the, uh, the CCI is very bullish. The same goes for the stochastic. And there's a lot, some room to the upside in the bullish band. So this is our destination. After this, I think we'll turn around and head towards the 50 moving average first. And then probably these lows. So if you look at the Dow Jones... Very similar story here. We have uh, we are trading at these highs of twenty nine thousand, the lows at twenty six thousand, and we just crossed the upper part of this range. Um, at this point, we are going much higher. That is almost a certainty. Uh, we are not overbought. We're not oversold. This technical indicators look very bullish at this point. So uh, at at least we're going to twenty eight thousand nine hundred, and probably to these very highs before we turn around course if this breaks then we go much higher but i don't anticipate that i anticipate we'll go up here and then we'll turn around back to the downside for at least the short run so if you look at that nasdaq nasdaq has rallied and as you can see most of these tech stocks have been doing extremely well today so we need to get rid of some of these signals here so we're trading in the range of 12,500 and the lows of 10,600 or 700. And we are basically testing these previous highs. Uh, whether or not we get through that or not is a question. We are not overbought. We have a lot of room to the upside. It's, it's a, uh, the technical indicators are looking very bullish for, for the NASDAQ. I just don't expect us to get above this area here. We'll stay here probably for a while, rally up towards this area. If that breaks, then of course we'll go higher. We'll go much higher. So the scenario for the NASDAQ is that if this breaks, then that opens the door to another around 500 or 1,000 points. That will happen. Other than that, we can basically 
break down towards the 50 moving average or to these very lows here and then go much higher. So there are possibilities. It is quite risky to enter here. You should have entered down here at the 100 moving average if you wanted to enter for a significant buy or here at the 50 moving average. Uh, selling these indices is also very risky because they are made to go higher. Uh, just look at this history here. We have, yes, major pullbacks, but history shows us we are just increasing, increasing value. Here, all the way up there, there's a 100% increase and so on. And that is basically what happens here. Yes, we have pullbacks, but in the long run, these indices, especially this one, just goes higher, 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 and so on. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So, good luck and thank you very much.